welcome to Tech Checker. Today I'm going to be showing you this sports action camera uh, with full 4K um, video recording uh, capabilities at 24 frames per second as well as 2K at 30 frames per second, uh, 1080p, 720p etc. It's got a Sony IMX078 uh, sensor with a gyro and waterproof Wi-Fi HDMI and it has some accessories in it so let's have a look the information on the box video output 4k 24 frames per second 2k 30 frames per second 19 1080 at 60 frames or 30 frames I should think video formats mp4 uh, loop recording 16 megapixels 12 8 5 and 2 jpeg images etc etc and time lapse as well does time lapse photography um, and this is currently 79 pounds and 98 pence so i'll go through it a bit more detail so you can see the menu so we've got a box here with a camera written on it we've got a box here with accessories written on it and another accessories box so let's start with the bottom one and work up so in this box use a manual there, spread that out so in this box we get a spare back screen spare extender clip a couple of Sticky pads with a fixing wire, some tie wraps, nice cloth to keep the lens clean, USB to micro USB to charge it up, some Velcro straps, and some other type of fixing straps, which are obviously going to be for things like helmet mounts, etc. Put those back for a second and then we got another box of accessories here so we've got a pole mount what you can use for on a push bike or motorbike two flat mounts both have got sticky tape on one's actually got a thread on it which you could probably attach to a tripod a dry fitting case if you're not in the rain or not in the water so you can get the full advantage of the microphone a swan neck type mount tripod mount and the opposite to a tripod mount another extender a clip for the back of the dry mount so you can have it on your belt a flat connector slide in so you've got plenty of um, accessories there enough to get you off from going if you're getting this is if this is your first camera and you haven't got any accessories it's giving you plenty inside here to um, help you get going stick that back in there for a minute and let's have a look at the camera Comes in this waterproof case. Let's take that off. Front. These are these fingernails, which I haven't got. Let's have that off there. I'm going to need that. On the back as well, let's get this camera out. Hopefully, it's got some battery power in it. Quick around it, we've got a micro SD slot on the side, got a mini HDMI out, micro SD in for charging and also for receiving the data. Support there, it looks like it could be a microphone speaker up down and that looks like the wi-fi signal so you press that to turn the wi-fi on 
the mode button and the power button and an OK and an LED on the top and the cover over the lens as well so let's see if it's got any power in it so it says low power straight away so let's just get a nice long lead so I can plug it in so I can go through the settings while it's charging up so let's see what happens when we put this in as well let's charge that up right that's charging now so the date's already set the date's already correct, so that's quite handy at the moment. It's set at four, uh, um, four HD, sixty frames a minute, minute, so 1080p. So I'm going to press the front button, the mode that goes to 20 megapixel. That's the taking photographs. Press it again. That shows you the files. Obviously, there's no SD card in there at the moment. Press it again, and then you get the different things. So we've got resolution. So you've got ultra hd 24 frames qhd 30 frames that's like 2.7 k full hd 30 frames full hd i'm um, sorry 60 frames per second full hd 30 frames per second hd at 120 frames per second so you can use that for doing some slow motion hd 60 hd 30 so these are all 720 then you've got a WVGA 30, VGA at 240, VGA at 30, QVGA at 30. So for this test, I'm going to have it on. I'm going to try the QHD. Actually, I'll try the full HD. 24 frames per second at 4K. See what sort of quality we get out of it. You've got loop recording, so you can have it set into segments, which is ideal if you're having this as a car dash camera. I'm not, so I'm just going to put that to off for the moment. I can change that later. Gyroscope, I'm going to put that on. It's going to help stop any um, bumpiness in the filming. WDR, I'm going to leave on. Time lapse. So, if you want to record a time lapse video, you can do so. Get this a bit closer so you can see it a bit better. So just go back up there and go and show you these. So, you've got your resolutions there, loop recording there, gyroscope, WDR, time lapse. So, you can have it off 100 milliseconds, 200, 500. One second and five seconds. I'm going to have that off. Motion detection. So if you have this as a car camera, anything walks in front of the camera, it should start automatically recording. So I'm going to have that off. Record audio. I want that on because I want to test out the audio quality of it. Date, time, stamp. I'm going to put that off. Angle. Now this is a really good feature with this camera. You can have the angle set. So you can have it as 170 degrees really wide, 140 degree wide angle, 170 and 70. And obviously that narrows the field of um, vision down. So depending on what you're using this for, um, you can change the um, the angle, which is quite, quite handy. So what I'll probably do is do a test of each angle so you can see the difference in comparison. I'll start off with the 170. Okay, so this is the first demo, um, 4K, 24 frames per second at 170 degrees. I'm now going to switch it to 140 degrees. So this is now recording at 140 degrees. Um, it's not in the case again. I'm now going to try it at 110 degrees angle. I'm now recording at 110 degree angle. There's just one left and that's 70 degrees and that's coming up next. This is now recording at 70 degrees. This is the narrowest field of vision. I'm now going to put it back to 140 degrees to finish the rest of the video off. Diving mode, I'm going to have off. If you've got that on, it's obviously going to adjust the white balance and other sort of features of the uh, camera so that it obviously takes better pictures and video underwater. 
night scene if you're filming at night you're gonna want that on self timer image size this is for the photographs so you can have 20 megapixels 16 12 10 8 5 3 and vj i'll leave that on 20. You can have a burst so you can when you take a photograph it take one after another you can have it on three five ten or off the quality you can have it on fine economy or um, normal i'm going to put it on fine the sharpness i'm just going to leave that to standard white balance i'm going to leave that to automatically but you can change it to daylight cloudy tungsten or fluorescent color i'm going to leave to normal but you can have black and white or sepia iso so depending on if what type of time of day or the th amount of light you can adjust that also i'm going to leave it on auto but it goes from 100 200 400 so 100 is going to be good light 400 is going to be a lower light i'm just going to leave it on um, normal you can also adjust the exposure value so that's quite handy to know anti-shaking i'll put that on so if you're having that in a car or if you're running or having it on a bike etc that's going to take a little bit of the um, movement out you've got your delete your protect your wi-fi so you can turn your wi-fi on and off your wi-fi ssid which is the wi-fi name the wi-fi password so that's one to eight in a minute date and time which is already right 2017 I'm going to change it oh, I'm going to change it so it says day month year auto power off you can have it off one minute five minutes ten minutes I'll just put that to off for the moment beep sound voice prompt so it tells you when it's starting on screen display have it on car ace a ac so you can have that on so basically when your ignition comes on the car it automatically turns it on and starts recording it's for the car part of the dash camera um, and when you turn it off after a while it will automatically stop and turn itself off and and then it go into the auto um, thing for the motion detection as well and the language self-explanatory tv mode ntsc or pal change mine to pal uh, tv i'm gonna have that off that's for the output for your hdmi screen saver you can have it off 30 seconds one minute or three minutes i'm gonna have mine off frequency 50 hertz format to format the card um, default settings and then the version and there's a version it's the 23rd of the november 2016 so that's quite a new version and then back to the beginning so hopefully that's got all those out of the way so what i'm going to do is stick a memory card in it get one and i'll go through all the other settings first thing i need to do is to find what app it uses there we go ios it's on the back of on the back of the thing so let me just get my so this is the app so open that up i've already got this app it's obviously uh, compatible with various different um, cameras You're gonna have the same app so download quality fast download original etc right so what you need to do to connect it to your wi-fi is obviously go to your wi-fi settings let's turn the wi-fi on let's get out of this press up that turns the wi-fi on it then should broadcast its own wi-fi ssid which it's done there which is that one there so i'll pick that enter the password which is 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit join. So it's connecting to the camera. Let's go back to this. And there we go. That's the camera up and working straight away within a couple of seconds. And obviously, if you want to record, etc., you just use the buttons here. I've got a, um, got a um, card in there at the moment, but I'm going to fit a card in there. So this just means that if you've got it set up somewhere, you can view it from your uh, mobile device. If it's on your helmet, for argument's sake, or on a push bike, or in wherever, it's somewhere where you can't physically get to the button, you can line your shot up perfectly, take a, a photograph, no card obviously, uh, take a photograph, take a video, and obviously you've got your... Um, full range of settings there which you can also adjust via the camera everything there uh, yeah one thing you will notice is it doesn't have the ultra HD it only will show um, full HD on here so if you're recording in 4k um, or 2.7k you won't be able to use the app for that you're only going to be able to use the app for HD um, quality and below. So hopefully that makes some sense. So let's just see it's automatically turn the camera to full HD. So I'm going to need to turn the Wi-Fi off. Go into settings. Go to resolution. Put it back to... 24 frames full HD ultra HD and that's now changed that so next thing is I'm just going to leave it on charge for a while I'm going to get an SD card a micro SD card I use the Toshiba ones I'm going to put that in there and do some test video with it and hopefully this video is going to be of some help So at this point, obviously you can tell the microphone doesn't work when it's in the case. I'm talking away there and you can't hear anything. I'm going to test it under a bowl of water. Um, it's neutral balance, so it kept trying to pop up, as you can see there, which is a good thing. If you did lose it, you've got a chance that it's going to um, bobble up to the surface. So what I'm going to do is stick some weight on it. Um, I'm going to leave it in the water for a while, and I'm going to speed it up. And if you look in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see the time. Um, I'll speed it up and I'll leave it in the water for a, a while to give it plenty of time uh, for a good test. So hopefully this has been helpful.
Okay, so I'm sticking this in the car. See my hand? Let's just go for a quick drive around the block. This is on 140 degrees, so I'm going to pull over and make it to the um, 170, so it's as wide as it can go. Okay, so this is now on 170 degrees. The widest angle it will go, and it's on full HD, 20 frames, uh, 24 frames per second. It's getting dark out, so it gives you an idea of its low light capabilities. screen's gone off, it's now gone into the power saving mode, so there's no screen showing. I know it's on because I can see the little blue light. 